going on YouTube. Currently in line right now at the money, aka the shipper, to get loaded. This is gonna be our last load for the day, and then the uh, customer is shutting down until Monday due to, uh, I guess, the rain for the come in. So they're gonna be shutting the plant down until Monday because they can't load in the rain or unload in the rain. So that's no problem. Three day vacation. So um, obviously, I did a vote on YouTube community and uh, put up um, three trucks. You know, I put up a Western Star with a 12.7. I put up a uh, Western Star with an N14 Cummins. I thought it was a 34 6 b but it was an N14 Cummins, 18 speed. Then I put up a uh, Freightliner Classic with a uh, 12.7 Detroit. It's a uh, 1997 truck, so it's got to be a 1996 engine which would be a 12.7. Uh, the owner claims the engine had been rebuilt by the uh, original owner who lives down the street from him. He ain't got no paperwork though. I didn't even bother to ask because I already know. But uh, all I want to know is, does the truck run? Is the truck drivable? What kind of mechanical issues are you having with the truck? Why is it parked? in your backyard and um, he uh, he had a pretty good reason for parking the truck. He uh, parked the truck for six months. He was working the oil field in Louisiana and basically he just went over to another division of the oil field and uh, when he told me the division, then I said, okay, this makes sense because we was at the car show in the oil field and uh, we was at the car show at Midland, Texas. I don't even think, I didn't even put up the video, but uh, JPTV 3000 put up the video. There was another guy with that, uh, what car was that? It was a damn two-door car, dude, here with that terrible car. He had like an expensive car, shisty guy. Oh, it was a Toyota Supra, twin turbo, the new one. He had that right there. Uh, we did a video on it. And uh, my man worked the same job in the oil field outside of trucking. So I know what it pays. So when he said that, I said, well, okay, well, makes sense. So I offered him a price. And uh, I'm waiting for him to respond via a test message. You know, so. If he responds, then I'll go ahead and uh, book a flight out there tomorrow or Saturday. Go ahead and book a flight out there to um, go look at the truck. And if it is what he said it is, I feel like it's a solid truck. Then I just hand him the cash and be on my merry way with the third truck. If you accept my pricing, and you guys know my pricing, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what the price I offered him for the truck was. That's gonna be secret, but uh, you know, he ain't accepted it yet. I'm literally waiting for him right now to test back. Is you gonna take this amount, or is you not gonna take this amount? Now the guy with the Western Star, the 18 speed M14, his particular truck. It's already in my price range, so, you know, I ain't got to do nothing but go up there and uh, look at the truck. Plus, he's cooperating, too. You know, he told me, uh, he sent me all the pictures that I wanted. Uh, he told me he had a lot of receipts for all the uh, work that he had done to the truck. You know, he's up there in the Midwest, though. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a 34 6 b cat, but it turned out to be a, a M14 red top. And uh, the thing about the M14 Cummins is, you know, uh, Anthony, he had the M14 Cummins in that blue truck he had. If y'all remember, he still got the truck too, but he, he had the M14 Cummins. Well, we called Cummins ourselves to figure out when we could get a uh, OEM overhaul kit for his uh, M14 Cummins. They told him that the lead time on production 
was about 430 days. So uh, that was like a year and a half before Cummins would have an OEM rebuild kit for uh, the M14 Cummins. So, you know, that means if I was to get that truck, we'd be uh, Frankenstein in that motor too <laughs> with aftermarket parts, which is fine with me. Uh, you know, Chinese parts, throw all the Chinese up in there and uh, put it together and we're gonna call it uh, M14. Uh, Chinese Cummins, there we go, so yeah, 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 that's how we go do that, but will he take the offer? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I was hoping he'd test back while I'm on this video, I'll let y'all know, but I came across the screen, nothing that I see, waiting in line to get loaded, man, gotta always have a plan with this trucking shit, man, uh, this lane right here, boy, every day you get more sketchy and sketchier. You know, I shit, I be feeling like, man, this lane right here gonna come to the end any day now. So let me just go ahead and take the money they already paid me. And uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and invest it over here in this third truck and uh, expect the lane to come to the end the minute I get the title to the third truck. Cause that's just how, that's just how I work in trucking. Anytime you look like you got them, uh, <laughs> Getting ahead, that's when you're gonna be starting the fuck over. So, you know, nothing out the ordinary, but hey, if we still got the lane come Monday, then hey, you know, start working on my money back. Start working on my money back. Still no test messages though. Freightliner Classic. What made y'all pick the Freightliner Classic, man? I thought y'all was uh, all about the Western Star, man. What happened to that? What happened to I put up the FLD flat top. Y'all didn't like the uh, the fifteen thousand dollar flat top, the first flat top I had posted. That was just like my truck right here. And y'all told me y'all don't like that truck, man. Y'all like the Western Star over it. I switched it up. I put a two Western Stars side by side. Now y'all don't even like the the Western Star you voted for. Now you like the other Western Stars. So I'm like goddamn. And uh, shout out to my uh, subscriber on my Facebook. He actually sent me the link to uh, this Freightliner. I looked at it, I said, well, it don't hurt the call. Called the guy, got all the information I needed, and uh, I sent him a price. Like I said, I'm just waiting for him to test back. If he liked the price, then, you know, well, we'll just start sliding over to the bank and, you know, make a little withdrawal, take an airplane out there, you know, not saying that I'm just going to buy the truck on, the, you know, day one, because I ain't seen the truck, you know, but if it is what he said it is, and it look good to me, the cash already in my pocket, you know, just go ahead and hand it on over to him and drive the fuck off, so, yep, I got two places I can take the truck to, it's a drop lot right there, where the truck is at, I can drop it right there and pay them about $100 a month for storage, or I could uh, take the truck to the house. Problem is, it's only one of me. And uh, when I get down there, I need to rent a car to get to where he at, because uh, from where he at to the closest airport is about two hours, so I'm gonna fly to the closest airport, get in the car, drive two hours to him to go see the truck. Um, but the good news is, you know, because I don't want to just go down there for no reason. And uh, like I said, I only got three days. I got to be back here Monday. So uh, let's just say, you know, we shoot the video, the classic ain't what I thought it was. Well, then I'm going to go and look at that um, that Western Star. Not the one with the uh, M14. I'm going to look at the one with the 12.7 because it's, it's in the same area also. I go look at that if that motherfucker even responded at all with the Western Star. He'd be difficult. He, he being difficult. He talking about he too busy and all this, that, and the third. He too busy to sell a truck. I'm like, man, shit. Now, I know a lot of y'all wonder, Andrew, what you gonna do with all these trucks, man? They ain't doing nothing but sitting. Oh, uh, that's all right. I just, shit, maybe I'm just buying a truck to look at it. Make me feel good. Yeah, just, I ain't, that shit. It may not ever move. I'm just buying it literally just to sit it. Yeah, that's why I'm buying a truck. Just like the blue truck. The blue truck's sitting right now. Yeah, that's what I'm buying it for. What else you thought I would buy it for? You thought I was going to put a drive in it or some shit? Why would I do that? 
Why would I do that? Put a driver in it for what? When he could just sit and I can stare at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the freight line, the classic, it's black too, so I'm gonna call it Black Pearl. Yeah, that's Black Pearl right there. Since the other, since the original Black Pearl disappeared off the internet, yeah, that's gonna be the old classic new name. Yeah, we go by it. Yeah, Black Pearl. Andrew buys Black Pearl cash. That's the only way we uh, do things around here. Yeah, we go to the bank and get cash. Yeah, but Andrew, you can go get a business loan. You can go do this. I'm still waiting for the original lease drivers to get approved for their original business loan. Don't y'all remember that? We, we steady waiting on that. I'm still waiting on them to get approved for their first business loan. They told us all about it. We over here looking for our third truck. I'm waiting for you. When is they gonna get approved for their business loan? I'm just saying, we, we steady waiting now. We were waiting since the second truck. Yeah, we looking for the third truck. In a minute, we are gonna be looking for a fourth truck. Cause don't think I ain't gonna go back and snatch the West and start too. I'm just saying, one trick at a time. It was only one of me, one of me. But you know, if he accept that price now, and customer keep me on this lane. Ooh, damn it, boy. Oh, speaking of that, on the trailer side of things, I found a uh, trailer, a pneumatic trailer. The guy want six thousand dollars for it, and uh, based on the pictures, everything looked good. All I got to do go hook up to it, give him the cash, and take off. It's six thousand dollars. It's a trailer, um, just like mine. It's four pies though. He far away down the motherfucker though, y'all. But you know, he want six thousand. I got the 6,000 for him. Yeah, I, got, I thought about, you know, Bob telling where he at. That's going to be a drive. He damn near cross country at this point. But drive over there, hook to that trailer, and bring it on back, man. It ain't got no wells in it. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know, man. The trailer ain't even got to work. As long as the, tra the trailer got tires on it, as long as that trailer got tires on it, and it can roll down the road, and it's got a door at the bottom that can open and drop product. That's all it, that shit, that's good enough right there. The, the brakes ain't even gotta work on the motherfucker. As long as the tires roll. As long as the tires roll, these drivers. I'm not telling you to do that. Don't, don't, please don't go out there and do nothing I just did. I'm just telling you what I can get away with. Yeah, I, sometimes I get away with murder. I'm just saying, sometimes I do. I'm talking about what I got going on over. I'm not sitting there. I can afford brakes and tires. I'm just saying. I can hook up with the blue truck. And as long as the tire roll ain't smoking, shit. I ain't going down no hill. It's all flat land right here. So bring that motherfucker over here. Get it loaded. <laughs> as long as that motherfucker rolling, we making money. <laughs> I saw something pop come through. I don't know if it was him. No, let me see. Well, I'm just going to try to hear the video. Alrighty, back with an update for you. So the guy still ain't responding yet. He ain't said yes, he ain't said no, but um, in other news, I did sell that uh, white Freightliner FLD120 that I originally showed y'all uh, in the first vote. We did end up selling that truck. Uh, one of you guys bought it, I don't know who. Uh, usually whatever truck I'm showing here, it gets sold. You know, usually in a couple of days. So, you know, uh, whoever bought it, uh, just email me so we can get some uh, some details. Maybe do a video, figure out, you know, uh, how you uh, ended up with the truck. Obviously, you was watching me. You saw me post it. You went and found it. And you uh, went over there and got it because you figured that if I sold the truck, it must be a good truck. So you went and purchased it. And hopefully, it is a good truck. I'm not saying it's not. You know, uh, just understand that when I post these trucks... I ain't never seen them in person, that's number one. And number two, I always uh, get the truck knowing I'm going to rebuild the engine. Not saying you can't do the same thing, I'm just saying I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want y'all to think you just go buy this truck, put it on the road, and uh, be the laughing stock of YouTube, you know. But, um, 
sold that truck. So, uh, waiting on the guy to hit up, uh, hit me back about the classic. I'm pretty sure y'all done dumped uh, into his inbox too. Yep, so we're gonna probably have that classic sold also by tomorrow. The Western Stars, um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know about the Western Stars. Instead of looking for more trucks, now, uh, of course y'all know if I don't buy a truck, that just means the money stays in my pocket. Just in case I was just, you know, could be using my platform to sell trucks. You just never know. Maybe I'm just all talk. You just never know. But the guy with the classic, they responded. It's been over an hour. He's probably not going to respond at this point. It's been over an hour. So it's looking like we left with uh, whichever Western Star. And I told y'all to do with the. Uh, to do with the. Uh, the red Western Star, he's just being totally difficult. The guy with the Western Star with the M14, he answered all my messages. His truck appeared to be in better condition. Well, they both in the same condition, but M14 Cummins, 18 speed shit. Ain't no telling how goddamn heavy he was pulling with that, but uh, at this point, who wants some cash? Who wants some cash because over here over here we can make anything work um don't matter what the engine is it don't matter if freight line are talking about you know um the overhaul kit may take 30 years because it's stuck on some boat out in the indian ocean or something i ain't never bought an overhaul kit from the dealership so one thing about me i was i was reading the comments you guys were saying i need to check for parts availability uh, my whole trucking career, uh, I never had any type of issues finding not now par for nothing. So, but I understand that uh, I got other ways of going about getting parts. If one place don't got them, okay, well I just go down the street. Well I know they got them. Or either okay, if nobody, everybody playing games, you know, like Freightliner, you going out talking about a boy want a turbo to act like they don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry, the internet got it. You know, the internet got it. Don't worry about all that. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I, I know exactly where to get some parts at. You know, for what engine? For all the engines. Shit. Yeah. Um, oh, is ATL diesel? Or, or are they still in business? All right, then. Yeah. So, boom. They got a lot of parts right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Chinese. And China made some good parts. And so, shit. Yeah, I'll put the Chinese up in there. According to y'all, yeah, I'm running Chinese parts. I'm still in business. The people that were laughing at the Chinese parts. They ain't even got the lease truck no more, so yeah, 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 I'm just saying, so yeah, they out of business, I'm still in business with the Chinese parts, where, where is they, what, the truck they was driving when they was talking about my Chinese parts, why could they, what happened to the truck? Should have just went with the Chinese parts, I tried to tell them, they just kept going to the dealership for that OEM, that OEM, put them on that ass, <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all, man. But no, if I get the classic though, we gonna call it Black Pearl. Yeah, we gonna call it Black Pearl. The Black Pearl gonna be going down the street, paid for like a motherfucking word. <laughs> oh man, I might put John's face on the side, yeah, because he the creator of the Black Pearl. Yeah, yeah, we gonna have to pay for a Black Pearl too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, you better hope the motherfucker don't take the offer. But at this point, it's been over an hour. He ain't responded, so I'm gonna take that as a hell now. But you know, let's just. Give him the bit of the doubt or something. Maybe he fucking, I don't know, in the shower or drove off without his phone or maybe he got the phone on vibrate or whatever. <laughs> whatever. And I don't want y'all to think I gave him a stupid price. Nah, man. The price he had listed, all he has, I only took off about $2,000 of the price he got listed. I, just $2,000 off. So I ain't say no stupid price. No, I just asked for 2000 less. Yeah, I, shit. I didn't even hit him with what I wanted to hit him with. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, shit. I, I ain't asking for much. So, if he said, if he respond back, he'd be like, nah, man, I can't go that low. I can I can do what I, you know, what I listed. Okay, well, then, shit, I got that too. So, but you need to respond and say something. Otherwise, uh, who wants some cash? Because I know a lot of drivers right now got a lot of junk right now parked in their backyard. And they need some cash for that junk. Uh, haven't y'all read the signs uh, to be on the side of the highways and out there in, 
out there on the corner will buy junk cars. They leave a phone number right there. Yeah, yeah, they ain't buying junk cars for no reason. No, no, they making a motherfucking killing off this shit. When you think they gonna give you some cash, you thought it was junk. They thought they was gonna make a million dollars. They did make a million dollars. That's why they still out there doing it right now. Now, shit, I'm like, like, hey, I'm trying to buy some junk. Cause I know what I bought this truck. They asked exactly what they, they said, yeah, man, that right there, that's junk right there. That's what I'm gonna say, this junk. Junk, goddamn, I went over there and bought the junk. <laughs> Damn it, boy. <laughs> Ain't looked back since. Ain't looked back since. I'm like, Damn, this is some good junk right here. <laughs> Every time I go to the bank. They're like, Damn, you made all this with all that junk you hit? Yep. The junk, man. And you won't believe me. I took that junk, man. I threw some of the, the Chinese parts, but I threw all that Chinese shit in there, boy. I extra junked it up. Shit. Dropped it up real good, boy. Man, a killing, boy. Bought one truck after that with the junk. Took the junk, bought one truck. Now here we are. I'm about to steal. I'm still taking the junk. We're about to buy a third truck if the motherfucker respond. I guess he don't want no cash, y'all. I ain't even tell. I ain't even. I ain't even coming with a cash is check. I'm just gonna bring them cash. Just cause my bag ain't in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bringing them cash. And uh, he gonna have to give me a. Uh, a freaking uh, sales receipt. What do you call it? Uh, what do you call it when you buy a vehicle from somebody and they give you that paper, that sales paper? I forgot the term for it, but yeah, I need that right there so I can throw that over there on the QuickBooks with the yeah, with the, all that right there. We need to match that transaction with that receipt. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, 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 yeah. But if you don't want no cash, then hey, like I said, man, I'm off tomorrow, Saturday. Possibly Sunday. I'm trying to get on the airplane right now and bless his pockets with some cash. Now he just said he got out of the trucking man to go do some other shit in the world for y'all. I already know, so let me. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out, and he ain't even responding. Just don't get it, man. I'm over here trying to remove the junk out of his yard. And I can't even get a response. Can't even get a response. He was talking real good at first. I mean, I don't understand. You know, we were going back and forth. I was sending a message. He responded right back all the way until oh, the very year when I said, okay, well, will you take this amount of money? I ain't heard shit from him. Yeah, I'm like, damn, did I insult the motherfucker or what? I ain't... He had it listed for like two dollars. Nah, we're gonna say he had it listed for five dollars. Shit, I just asked the can I get it for three fifty, three seventy five, three eighty? That I was shit. I wasn't asking, you know, and it ain't did that nobody else ain't gonna do. Ain't nobody everybody else gonna low ball too. I'm shit, I ain't even low ball. That's really a high ball right there. Yeah, I ain't do them like I wanted to. Shit. That's actually, I offer him more money than I offer anybody else. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna shit. I'm just saying. I offer him more money than he just shit anybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't understand what the problem is. Now, the plane take off tomorrow. If I buy a ticket. Uh, if I don't buy a ticket, though, um, the shop, the shop, the shop, uh, the tank wash shop. If I don't buy a ticket and leave up out of here to go get this truck, they told us to uh, bring our tanker trailers through. They're going to uh, install new bushes for us tomorrow. Just a one-day job. So, you know, I was going to skip out on that to go get my man some cash. But, shit, if he ain't going to respond, then it is what it is, dude. Man, I guess I'll go ahead and put it into this trailer. As far as the blue truck, they still ain't pulled it in. Guess y'all have to wait till next week on that one, uh, hey, you know, you know, uh, for all y'all that like going to dealerships, I see what you're going through. Yeah, I see the blue truck. We ain't got no payments on it. But Josh, I see what you were going through. Yeah, yeah, I understand it's got the warranty. Yeah, but the payment due every week, Josh, $800. And it's the first week, Josh. Tomorrow Friday, Josh, that's $800. You'd have been in the hotel room, Josh, for seven days. Eight hundred more dollars, sixteen hundred dollars, Josh. They on your neck, Josh. They on your neck. But you had that warranty, like a warranty. 
I ain't got no warranty on shit. And I own everything. Yeah, yeah. So the loot truck sat over there a whole week. Guess how much I paid for it to sit? Nothing. That's what the fuck? I paid nothing. Um, the customer was going to ask me something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it can sit. And it's in the same spot. If it wasn't sitting right there, it'd be sitting at a truck stop. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, oh, and my oil pan came in in the ladder, so it's sitting right there. All I got to do is pick it up. So we got the oil pan. We got a mechanic that can install it. Shit, I should have him do this this Saturday, dear. If he ain't... Huh, I should have him do it Saturday, dear, huh? Because they can do my trailer. They can do my trailer tomorrow. Then he can do the oil pan Saturday. And then back to business by Sunday or Monday. We own this up. That may be a better idea, okay, so. That's what I think I do, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So, if the classes do respond, we're going to fly out. If we don't respond, then Western Star people, I'll wait right here for a whole week, and then next week, we'll see what we can do, yeah, because that way I get a whole another week of some money rolling in. So, yeah, 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 yes, that's what I do right there, dear. That's how we're going to play it, dear. That's how we're going to play it. So, Coco, pull it down. I'm for the pool here. Yeah, Get loaded, y'all. <sighs> Got a Peterbilt driver behind me. Hmm. Catch y'all in the next video.